Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about how much ESCO made in the month of January. And this is obviously due to a range of um, activities, and I'm going to break it all down to give you a rough idea of how much um, I've made this month. Basically, up front and um, straight off, I've made 30 to 35 billion ESC this month, um, which is above normal and average for me. Income varies, obviously, within uh, industry. Um, it could be up, it can be down. And sometimes, you know, some months I put more effort in than others. This just happens to be one of them months. And I think that comes from the uh, the end of year review. Um, always gives me a big push to, uh, to get going. Now, this is sustainable if I wanted it to be. But again, it comes back to that. Do I want it to be? And this isn't necessarily a bragging video. This is more of a anybody can do it. Now... I do have obviously a good pile of this to work with and I have numerous alts. But other than that, I don't use, I don't supply to alliances or corporations or anybody. I don't have any any contracts in place where I buy stuff cheaper from anybody. I literally do this completely solo and I buy all my stuff in Jitter and move the stuff to where I need it built. So take some comfort in the fact that so I say anybody can do this there's nothing that I do which is special or any any special benefits or that I get above and beyond what anybody else can do and yeah you know this hopefully just gives you a bit of inspiration to get out there and get on with it and but it's not I won't say that it's not that hard but it is entirely possible for anybody to do it. So I'm going to break this down into um, types of industry or areas where I am making ISK, but I'm not going to go into specifics of what items it is that I'm currently producing. So first up, we've got manufacturing. Now manufacturing is one of the biggies I use between four and eight alts, depending um, on how much um, I think I can sell, build, and what is useful at the time. Um, sometimes I can't really be bothered to log in all eight alts to do it because um, it, it is it doesn't take a huge amount of time but it is a bit of a, a pain and again this is around about 10 billion isk um, for the month and this is pretty much having them run 24 7 um, it's a minimum of four characters 24 7 and then the other four depending on other other factors but yeah I, I usually have four characters continuously four to five characters continuously pumping out stuff day after day after day and the other other one the other three are what the market is doing and depending where i want to jump in or jump out so to try and add a bit of back up to that here we are we've got the uh, the stuff that i'm actually building at the moment and you can see here there's a there's a good list of stuff that's currently being produced and i hope you know that's hopefully it gives a bit of backup without me going into the ins and outs of what it is that I'm actually building um, other than me sitting here saying I'm making X and you'll just have to believe me. So the next biggie is reactions. Um, I've got six characters or 60 lines in total doing reactions with 17 of them being the end product and these have been running 24-7 in the month of January and the, this brings in roughly 9 billion isk for this month. So next up we have trading and I basically just buy items in Jitter, sell them in Jitter. So I basically put up a buy order, I buy it for slightly cheaper and then I sell it for slightly more. Um, and again, I don't put a lot of effort into this. Uh, it's probably around about two, three times a day I update orders. And this brings in roughly four billion isk um, a month on average. Uh, but this month specifically is 4.1 billion isk. And the nice thing about trading is it doesn't really involve a great deal of extra work. You can sit in the station and basically you don't have to move. Um, and it's nice seeing the ticks come in uh, when things sell. So um, yeah, quite a fan of trading. I'm trying to get into more into trading. I'm trying to expand what it is that I'm doing. Some people you know, claim they make a huge amount of ISK trading. I've seen people claiming they make a trillion ISK a year. I don't doubt that, but again, I'm I'm a long way from that, and I I struggle to make more than what I'm making at the moment. Um, but again, I suppose it depends how much effort and uh, work you want to put into it. But that's where I'm at. So the next one I would class as speculation. Uh, this is where I've bought something um, with the hope it will go up and or basically buy and hold. Um, again, 
this is one that I'm going to go into more detail in in a separate video and not clutter this one up with it. But um, this one I expect, and again I haven't made it yet, this is to be determined, um, around about 5 to 6 billion isk. So this month as well I haven't done any of the Hypernet stuff. Um, as I said in the, uh, the Hypernet video I don't often do Hypernet. Um, but it is a way of ink making income, but for this month, um, zero for Hypernet. So last but not least, we have PVE activities, and this is basically where if you're going out, you're mining, you're doing um, abyssals, missions, anything where you know, you're know you actively, active, active make, actively making ISK. And again, this comes out to around about 7 billion ISK for this month. Now again, that's rather high. I don't always put that much effort into um, PVE activities, and generally because I don't need to. So I, I focus on the areas where I have fun, and for this month I've had a decent amount of fun doing, so say, PVE activities. So this is a lot higher than general, but as I said, I have been pushing it out this month to try and make a, a decent amount. So we'll put that down at five. And that brings us out at a round total of give or take 33 billion isk for this month. Now. That's without investing a huge amount of time, but that doesn't mean that I haven't invested time in the past to get to where I am now. And I rely on the knowledge and the game mechanics that I've learned over the years to be able to do this. And to, to give you a figure of actual time spent making this ISK, taking out the PVE aspect of it is probably around two to three hours, maybe four hours at the very most. Um, and I've probably spent about six, seven hours PVE activities. So it's very doable. And again, it's one of them things that people often ask me of how much time, you know, and uh, do I do I invest doing this? And I would say quite a minimal amount of time for the uh, the amount of return that I get for it. And I'm, I'm happy with that. But uh, I enjoy this aspect of the game anyway. So it's never really a chore. It's something I enjoy doing. Um, not necessarily moving around the, uh, the stuff. But um, I enjoy the theory crafting, the, uh, the working out how much I'm going to make, what it is that I'm going to build, whether I'm going to sell it, what stockpiles I need to be getting in advance, and other things like that. That's part of what I find fun about this aspect or area of the game. And that's what keeps me ticking over. It's what keeps me coming back to the game day after day. It's that forward planning and looking for the future. Because at the moment, as I say, I've, I've invested quite a lot into uh, the manufacturing side and the reactions. So got a lot of this tied up and sometimes you can see your wallet going down and it's quite disconcerting because you know you're at say 70 billion isk and then you you start spending and you're down to 40 40 billion isk and you know you you, you know you've got this tied up elsewhere and things are happening but your wallet's going down not up so it can be a bit you know um it can take you back a bit and you, you're thinking my word where, where's all this is going but that's because you know some of the lines are running for like 15 days um, and again, when there's 40 of them, that takes up a, a huge quantity of ISK just sat there. But as long as you've done the maths and worked it out properly, you know that ISK is going to be coming back into your wallet sooner or later. Assuming you sell the products at the end of it. But again, that's that's part of the fun and the uh, the crafting of how you're going to sell, where you're going to sell. And as I said, I'd, I'd sell all my stuff in Jitter without you know any exception. I don't sell it anywhere else. I buy it all in Jitter and I sell it all in Jitter. I do manufacture it in other areas. Uh, but it all gets sold in Jitter. So I hope that was helpful and enlightening. And I know I haven't gone into any specifics there, but I've got 160 videos over the, the last year and a half to two years of me going into specific examples of where you can make ISK. And all I've done is employed that here just in slightly different areas. And again, when these areas become a little less profitable, I will probably share them with you like I have everything else. I try and be as transparent as possible. And, you know... Hopefully I've shown that over the time that, you know, I am willing to show you guys what it is that I do and how exactly I do it. And there's no, there's nothing really hidden. I don't do anything above and beyond what it is that I, I say that I do. And hopefully, as I say, I know obviously in this video it's kind of, trust me, I'm making these figures and... You know, I've I've put the work in prior, so hopefully that carries some weight. And if you haven't seen the prior videos, then by all means look through the catalog of videos that I have. There's a huge amount of information in all these videos, um, whether it's little tidbits here, there, and everywhere. Um, I would encourage you to uh, to look over some of them. 
and yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, then drop a like. I may do this on a regular end of month, um, just to give you an idea of roughly what it is that I'm making. Again, some months will be better than others, some will be worse, and you know, um, yeah, it's pretty much how it is. I'm feeling slightly under the weather, so hopefully next time we speak, we won't be uh, quite in this situation. But with that, thanks for your time, thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you again soon.